Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft 1.15 and today I am right now in front of my castle house uh, that I've been building and I changed some things off camera. I went and put cobblestone along the entire top here, which is looking a lot better. I think it definitely looks a lot better with the cobblestone along the top. I also, I think I did this last episode where I got rid of the, uh, the wood across here. So it, we just have logs on the side. And then in here is what I want to work on today, is I want to work on decorating the inside. I've also got to change this area in here for the floor. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do maybe stone slabs, actually. We might make this, like, completely stone. Where's my axe? Here it is. Go ahead and get rid of that. And then I'm going to put another tower on this side. Or, well, we got to make an opening for this tower. I also just realized there's no torches in here. Oh, wait, I don't have any torches. Um, well, here, we'll just take my lanterns. And for now, we're going to put that in here. Here we go. We'll just put this, like, right there for now. And I'm not really sure if I should put the doors, like, here. Or if I should put it all the way on the side here. I'm not really sure where the best spot is to do this. I've also got to make, like, a ladder and stuff to get up as well. But we'll do that later. Uh, but what I want to do today is I want to work on kind of like building like the sections and the rooms and things for this. I'm also thinking about going downwards and building like a basement for like storage or something. It also looks like it is getting dark out. So we got to head back to our temporary house to go to bed. But I want to I wanna check on the villagers to see what we've got for trades. So this is our armor person, which is probably going to be a good one to try and trade with so we can possibly get some diamond armor. And then we've got this one, this villager over here who has like all the enchanted books and cool stuff. And then this is our toolsmith who we've been getting our diamond tools from, which are decent. They're decent tools. Uh, let's see. Anything else in here that's decent? There's a bell. Flint for an emerald. Is that a new one? I don't remember that being a, a trade. Okay, well, there's uh, some good trades there. And I don't actually know what the farmer... We haven't really gotten the farmer leveled up that much. I don't really know what they get later on for the farmer. So that would, might be an interesting one to try and level up at some point. Uh, is this our tool guy? I think it's our tool guy. He's been uh, sleeping in my house. Yeah, he keeps taking my bed. Here we go. We'll go ahead and get our bed back. I also need a get the dogs moved over as well which I will be naming the dogs today we're gonna do that a little bit later though uh, but for now oh yeah the sheep let me get my wool because uh, one of my villagers needs brown wool oh I, I didn't really want to get on you but that's fine uh, at least helps us get into the pen which is good it's also how I get out because for some reason if I stand over there and get off of him it just kind of like throws me outside the fence uh, I've also, I just realized I had a bed on me. Should probably put that down in the, in the temporary, or not the temporary house, but the work in progress, because I haven't finished it. I've also just realized looking at the back of it, it's kind of like floating. So I might have to build a layer of wood around here so it doesn't look like it's floating like this anymore. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to get, we have a, a lot of wood here. So I'm going to take some of this wood, and we're going to go inside, and we're going to build... I also need to get a fence for this as well, but I want to build some rooms. So I think the way this is going to work is this is going to get removed, and I'm going to put a wall here. I don't have room to pick that up. I need to get some inventory space, which I don't really have any way of doing that at the moment. If I put this here, I can like place my lantern down right, right there. And this is going to go, should we just go like all the way across? Let's build this like all the way across like that. And then we can do the same thing over here where we build all the way across like this. So we kind of have like this hallway and then we'll have like rooms that come off the side. So let's start by just filling in this whole wall. How is this going to work with the, yeah, we're going to have to get some slabs for those because I built this out of slabs. So I'm going to have to either put slabs in there or break them and put blocks in replace of that. 
So we'll have to figure that out here in a second. I don't even know how many slabs do I have. I have 23 slabs. I don't know if I'm going to use them for anything else. But uh, we could possibly use them from up there. Or I could just use regular, uh, the regular blocks. I don't know if 23 is going to be enough. How, how much can we do with 23? We've got 11 left. This isn't going to be enough to finish this entire thing. But we can get some of it done. We'll have like a, a few blocks left over. Or actually, no, oh, one block. I thought I was going to finish it, but now we've got one block. So we'll go ahead and put a wood block there. So there we go. We've got our hallway now. I got to get some lanterns so we can put some lanterns across here. But I got to get some more of those. So let's find a good place to put a door. So I'm thinking about putting a door here. And then how many blocks is that? It's three blocks there. So if we go another three blocks here, would this give us... It won't be an even room, but that's fine. Uh, we've got... Oh, great. We're going to have more problems with uh, the half slabs. So I'm going to have to just break away all these and replace it with uh, wood. So that way we can actually put the walls in. There we go. We'll get rid of those. And we'll go ahead and put this in. It's actually giving us a lot of light just by having that removed. But this will be a room here. And then this is going to be another room here. Uh, we've got an entrance over there. But I think what I'm going to do for this size, I'm going to do a door directly over here. But I'm going to do a wall like right here and leave that area as like a bigger room. And I think that one might be like my room. So we'll go ahead and get rid of these blocks here that got messed up. And then we'll replace all of these slabs with uh, wood blocks as well. I'm going to have to possibly go up there and get the ones that uh, are possibly stuck. I don't know if there's any on the roof, but there might be some stuck up there. And then over here, I think I'm going to do the door. What if we do the door here? And then we did a door here, which would be right against the wall, the same as that one. So this should now be all the rooms that we're going to have. So this will be... Is this the same... I think these all are the same size. Yeah, these seem like the same size rooms. So all these rooms are supposedly the same size. And then somewhere... I'm thinking maybe back here we could have a staircase that like goes down that way, maybe. I don't know if we'll have enough room to do it that way. But we can have a staircase that goes down. And then maybe a staircase that goes up as well. Or actually, we could have the entrance to the upstairs through the towers only. So I need to make some ladders. I don't think ladders is something I would have. So I'm just going to make some myself. I also don't know if I'm going to need any more of these logs. So I'm just going to take like 12 of these. Turn those into some more planks. And then we'll get some sticks here. I don't know how many sticks we're going to need. Um, but I think if I didn't mess up the recipe, that's how you make ladders. There we go. We've got 12 ladders. Uh, I think I can make one more with this. I can. There we go. We've got 15 ladders now. So hopefully this is enough. I have a feeling it is. So I'm going to put the ladders, I think, here. I still have to get a floor for this. That's going to be the next thing I need to do. So we'll go ahead and break away this. Build our ladder all the way up there. Should I put a trap door? I wonder if I should put a trap door there instead of that. And then just put a trap door to open and close. That might be a better idea for that. But I would have to figure out which kind of trap door to use. Uh, let's get rid of this torch so we can put this up. And then break away that. And then we can get up top here. Let's see. What is the view? We don't really have a very good view of the village. Uh, but over here, I think I should probably build this cobblestone like all the way around. I don't think I'm going to have enough cobblestone to do that at the moment. But we'll have enough to at least get it started. Wait, is it supposed to go here? Yeah, I, I guess we could have it go there. Because, actually, what would that look like? I wonder if I should connect it to here. Well, we'll try it on, like, both sides. Let's try it on this side as doing it like this. And we'll see which one looks better. I think, uh, 
I think this is supposed to have a block there. So I'm going to go around like this. And we're going to put some blocks in there just so we can see. So let's head down. Actually, I think I can get off from over here if I can land on one of these fences. Okay. We still took damage, but it wasn't a lot. So let's come over here and see what this looks like. We don't really have all the, uh, the little things on top, but we have like two there. I think that looks fairly decent. Let's see what this side looks like, which this side I didn't put any of the things on. Yeah, I think we're going to go with the other one because this is floating and I don't really want to fill in this whole thing uh, with uh, wood because then we would have to like move all the rooms and all that. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of these pieces of cobblestone. Of course, there's one up there. And I want to try and figure out what kind of trap doors we can use. Because I don't think there's any like trap door that we can use that kind of blends in with cobblestone because there's no cobblestone trap door. The only thing that would possibly be close is like the iron trap door. But the iron trap door is only open when uh, when they have read some signal. I want to test something with the string. Can I put string there? Because if I were to put, where did that go? Oh, it's there. If I were to put a tripwire hook, and as you went up the ladder, would it trigger? I don't know if that would trigger it there. Because that's the only way I could think of possibly using an iron trap door is have like a tripwire that would trigger. And I think I might have some leftover. I don't think I'll have enough, but I think I have at least one leftover. Okay, I did have it semi right. It was wood, not cobblestone. So we've got two of these. I don't know if I'm going to have enough string, though, uh, to go all the way across. I don't want the spider eye. Get rid of this. There we go. So if I put this here and then this here, I need one more piece of string, which I don't have on me. Let me go back to the house, see if we have any string. And it looks like it is also becoming nighttime again. So I am going to have to uh, go to bed again. And then we'll probably... Uh, name the dogs after that But I need to find some string. I need one piece. There we go. Here's some string So let's go take this back and we're gonna go and try and see if this works I don't know if this will if it does work Then uh, we could possibly use this. I would have to figure out how the actually do we have redstone? I don't know if we have redstone. That's gonna be the next problem. There we go. Let's put that there. Does this trigger? If I go up here, I don't hear anything. If I jump... Okay, yeah. So if I jump here, it'll trigger it. But if you go up here, it won't. Yeah, I don't hear it doing anything. So if I were to put this here, I don't know if I can get it to, like, trigger in any way. I don't know. Does it work if I go around like that? Probably not. I think it has to be in a straight line. Plus, I didn't get enough string to really do a test of that. If I were to get rid of that and put that there, can I still climb up? No. Okay, but that would make it trigger. Problem is, I can't continue going up. So, unless I can do it the other way, where I go this way, but still, I would have to put one there. So I don't think this is going to work. And I don't think there's any other way of, like, detecting if someone, like, goes past this. Because observer blocks, I don't think observer blocks can see people. I think they can only see blocks. And, like, we can't use pressure plates. I don't know. What other things do we have to activate? The only thing I could really think of is if we put, like, a lever or something here. I guess I could do that where you would have to pull lever each time and that would probably keep it like locked but uh, we don't really have like any real security problems why are you outside you need to get the bed oh great this is this is why all the villagers are gonna end up dying because they won't go inside the house there's no villager even in my house tonight that's good so let's go ahead and head to bed here, and then we're going to name the dogs now that it's morning. Uh, let's make sure all the villagers are okay. Nothing's, nothing bad's happening. Let's see. Are there any zombies around? I still need to get my iron golem back over here because uh, 
Apparently, he likes to get stuck over in the forest. So I think all the villagers are good. So let's go and name the dogs. I don't know if I have two name tags. I think I might have one. Even if I do, I still don't have an anvil. Let's see. No name tag. Any name tag. Okay, we have one name tag. So one of them will get a name at least. Uh, but they'll they'll both have names. I think uh, the way I can do it for now is just by the color of their collar. Do I have any? I do have some flowers. Okay, we'll change one to yellow. I am running out of space. Can I put something away? What about wool? I don't even have room for wool. I have no room at all. Here, let's get rid of that. Can I put... Uh, where, where's that string? No, we'll put the string in there since we know the string isn't going to work. There we go. So, this is going to be... We're going to name this one Jake. So, there's Jake who has the, um, uh, the yellow collar. And then over here, we're going to call this one Ben. So, we have Jake and Ben, our two dogs. This one, so Ben has the red collar, Jake has the yellow collar. So they now have names, which is good. Uh, I need to get them another name tag, which I don't really know where I'm going to find those. I don't know if you can get them from pirate ships, because there was a ship over there. I think that might be where I got the first one. I don't actually know where I got the first one from, uh, but it probably was from that pirate ship over there. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, so make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.